morning. It is time to make some oatmeal. She's helping out, boiling it. This is old fashioned oatmeal. Don't worry, I will get to your breakfast too. Right? A spoon. Mix this up. Probably going to have to lower the heat soon. Normally I'm just lazy and I half cook it where there's still some water left because I don't want to turn the heat down for all of the water to evaporate, but I will do it properly today. And the reason I want to make sure I get in a good breakfast today is because I want to work out before I go out. I am getting a haircut today at two like 10:37, and it's just a maintenance haircut good morning Milo all three kids are in the kitchen with me ah whoa <laughs> don't scare the cats poppers hi I'm just trying to move you away. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're like going out of the frame when you're down and then out of the frame when you're up. You're too close. <laughs> you're too close. Get back. Get back a little. Right there is good. Stay right here. <laughs> it's so funny because, man, I don't know if I've never been around many other dogs, but I just have never seen a dog play like this where she always pauses. Like, I, I, I don't know if you've seen my videos, but like if I make a noise like I just did earlier, she was doing something, but then she pauses and then she decides to like flip out in reaction and it's so funny. <laughs> Decided to be lazy about the water. <laughs> A little bit of water is really no big deal. But now, so I finished my vanilla and something, my other kind packet. These are kind of big chunks. I guess not a big deal because I can like squish them down. There's a dog. Wow, I'm impressed. There's a dog and she stays with me. There's a dog. I gotta hide myself. Cause I'm not wearing any pants. Wow, I am really impressed. Now it's leaving and she wasn't even looking at the door. My baby is so good. Almonds. So I would add raspberries, except it's been sitting in my fridge for a week and I get turned off from food very quickly. I mean, I don't know if it might still be edible, but I don't know if I feel like risking it. So no raspberries today. I'll just mix it up so I get a good amount of sweetness throughout because oatmeal is very plain. I need these clusters to sweeten it up for me. Okay, now it is Riley's turn. Check. Oh. little bit more. Get all the meat off my spoon. Good girl. Break. Good. Definitely seems more into the food now, which is good. This is chicken compared to beef last time. 
and I actually fed her chicken only for the longest time. Um, I would definitely consider more variety now that I'm ordering online. Okay, breakfast eaten, oatmeal, feel pretty filling, and now I'm going to walk her so she can get her exercise before I do my exercise. And this is my walking kit. Of course, it is pretty typical, but I just have her leash. This is a four foot long leash, and I like them shorter because there's no reason for her to be too far from me. She has to walk in a heel right next to me, so I usually just let this dangle off my shoulder. I just do this, and like it looks kind of weird, I guess, but I find it so much more comfortable than holding the leash itself. And if she stays in a heel, the length of the leash is pretty much perfect for her when she's right next to me. I also have some poop bags. A lot of people keep a cartridge attached to their leash with just a lot of poop bags, but I feel like that adds extra weight, which I don't like. And I like to just have a poop bag that I just stuff in my pocket or something. Um, there were times in the past, I think when she was on dry food when she would poop more than once, so I would carry more than one bag. But nowadays, seems like it's usually just once, or if it's more than once, I will pretty much keep the bag with me until I'm done with my walk. So if she poops again, I can unravel it and then just pick it up again. Um, of course, I have her remote. So this one is something that maybe a lot of people don't realize because they can't see. I like to use a Bluetooth earpiece to listen to music. So when I put this in, and it's like this, and then my hair covers it, or just most people will not see something like this in your ear, so I guess whenever I'm spoken to, when I'm on a walk, I usually don't hear them well at all, but the thing is also, when I'm on a walk, I'm not really interested in talking to anybody I pass by, so the fact that I have this in kind of helps me deter people from wanting to talk to me, but there was also one time where I was walking down a street in my old place, which was more downtowny, and somebody complimented me on Riley's beauty, and I didn't hear them because I had this in my ear, and they called me a fucking bitch. So encounters like that suck, but um, I think that's more towards the city area, not so much around here. And if you know, whatever, someone calls me a bitch out here for not responding to a compliment, they voluntarily gave me about my dog, then I don't care. I just usually keep walking. I don't want to talk to people when I'm on my walk. The walk is for me and her. It's not for other people. So who cares about whoever I walk by? <laughs> my love. Okay, I'm done with my haircut. Um, I didn't really get a different style or anything. I've just been doing routine trims to make sure my hair is healthy because to be honest, I really miss my long hair. I love long hair. It's just that it was really unhealthy. There was a lot of split ends. There was dry ends. It was like freaking pubic ends. <laughs> so when you have ends like that it's like very unpleasant to feel it and also it just doesn't look so good so I cut off a lot of it um, a couple months ago I've been going every single month just to make sure that I cut off the unhealthy bits and let it grow out better but I'm not actually sure if I am gaining any length because usually you would hope that you grow out more than you cut off but Honestly, I'm not sure. I just really hope that it does grow longer eventually, even with these trims, because I don't prefer short hair. I only have it because I want to keep it healthy. But aside from that, I have been running all over the place since I am conveniently in Asian land. I stopped by Bubble Tea, saw the line out the door, and left right away. And then I went to a Korean supermarket right nearby to buy some dumplings because I actually feel like dumplings are the best fast meal to make. Um, they seem like they would be the least unhealthy and 
they are very fast and they taste awesome so I went in there to buy like large packs of dumplings because I know I will eat them all but the thing about Asian supermarkets that I absolutely hate is they are slow the lines are so slow and I didn't want to wait there holding on to these frozen bags of dumplings because I'm I'm weird when I'm in a rush I don't grab a basket I don't grab a cart I just hold them in my hands and that is actually why I usually just go to the American supermarket because it's cleaner the cashiers are faster and there's just it's less packed there's so many people in these Asian supermarkets and I just wish that they found a better way to make things faster because it's so unpleasant waiting in line for like 20 minutes or more there's just nowhere to stand there's so many people there so I didn't even get to buy my dumplings which is unfortunate but now after all of that I am here getting Korean fried chicken I put in my order so it's going to take about 20 minutes to make so I'm sitting here talking to you guys Here's my bootleg TV eating setup, my Korean fried chicken, beer battered fries with some ketchup in there, raspberry iced tea, and crap, I forget what these are called. You know, sometimes when cats are kneading, it looks like they're jerking off to me because they just look like they're doing it. For pleasure, you know? Look at his face. He's just in the zone. <laughs> that was a lot of food. The fries were $7. Beer battered fries, they were so not worth $7. McDonald's all the way. <laughs> I feel bad because I threw out half of those fries, but they were starting to get cold, they were losing their texture, and I'm just so full. I hate it when I'm so full to the point where like my stomach kind of hurts. Well, it doesn't hurt. Right now I'm just extremely full. I ate um, four wings. They were pretty big ones though. And I ate some fries. So now I am washing some raw. It's like raw Prince's grave, French movie. So far, it's pretty interesting, but I think I'm going to play some Dota soon. There is a minor coming up next week. There has been no Dota for like two to three weeks now. And there's a major coming up soon also. Can't wait for that. So I just finished Raw. It is a French drama horror movie. And as usual, I went into it without much prior knowledge. And it was... um pretty graphic <laughs> so there were some scenes where it was a little uncomfortable for me I can handle gore decently um, I think there were a couple scenes where they added sound effects that made the scene much worse than it could have been just you know without any freaky noises going on and I guess that is the whole point using sound to enhance a scene but you know Sometimes movies like this, the concept just feels weird because it's very unnatural. And at first I feel like you have a really shocked reaction to it. But after a while, when I think about it, I am usually very appreciative that the director took so much risk in terms of what they decided to make their story about, what they decided to show on film, and how they decided not to lessen the graphicness. I like it when they just kind of just show it all. I feel like if the graphic visuals serve a purpose, then that's okay. But I don't like the type of gore that is in movies like Hostel or fucking Human Centipede. I have not watched that movie. I never will watch that movie. And the concept is just so messed up. But um, this movie is technically 2016, I think. So I'm not sure if I would have put it on my list, but I watched another drama horror movie recently called Thelma, which is a Norwegian movie. And I think I can say that I like 
Raw better than Thelma. Um, Raw had very few moments where I was disinterested and it felt pretty interesting to me. Um, didn't have any dull moments. So if anyone feels like watching a cannibal come to fruition, then check out Raw. While I am daydreaming about buying a motorcycle, I have been looking at different brands and the gear that they have because, you know, part of the um, enjoyment, part of the enjoyment of riding a motorcycle is looking good on a motorcycle. So my plan is to have a white bike, mostly white if possible, and I want to have white and pink gear. So Dainese is an Italian brand, I believe, and they have had these really cool looking boots up for the longest time. I think it was the last year's season thing, but they look awesome. However, I discovered them too late because my size has been sold out all over and I don't think they plan on stocking them. So I'm kind of faced with the dilemma whether I should buy a different pair that they also sell with a similar color scheme. The thing is though, is I liked the other design much better, but since they don't exist anymore in my color, I can't get them. And to be honest, they are actually $100 apart, which is pretty big. I really want my outfit to be complete. So I am considering buying these boots early just to make sure they don't go out of stock before I manage to buy a motorcycle. But I think most brands also release a new line in the spring. So I could wait a couple more months, but I am a little concerned that I might miss my opportunity.